Hello, beauty lovers. Um, great being with you again. I hope everyone is staying well and uh, safe and probably bored out of your mind if you are not working and staying home and keeping a distance. So uh, myself as well, I am not able to perform services anymore. Um, our spa had to close. And um, so now I have a lot of time to um, spend with you and um, share the information. So you know how I love gadgets. And um, I wanted to talk about uh, another favorite gadget that I absolutely love and continue discovering new ways of using it and making it really, really useful in, um, in skincare and how we treat our skin. Um, so today I will be talking about um, the ultrasonic spatula. This is the spatula that, that I um, purchased not long ago and I will share the information if you'd like. Um, it's not one of my gadgets, but I definitely um, like it and actually thinking about um, making it my gadget um, and being a part of my Adorns um, Beauty on the Go. But um, I wanted to talk about the spatula because for the longest I was actually avoiding it and not using it um, in my practice or for myself. Uh, I just couldn't understand. I didn't think it was effective. Um, so the knowledge out there about the spatula and information about the ultrasonic spatula is that it actually helps with an exfoliation, in particularly for um, sensitive skin. And what it does is by an extremely high vibration, ultrasonic vibration, it lifts the dead skin. So it kind of tricks the skin uh, because you're not here scrubbing the skin with granules or beads, you know, or anything aggressive, but you're actually using um, the frequency, the vibration to, you know, roll over the skin. And with the high vibration, it vibrates the, <clears throat> the skin cells and it helps the skin to lift off the the dead cells those cells that for whatever reason are kind of stuck to your skin you know and don't want to leave your skin or um you know the cells that are ready to be sloughed off so it works really well on sensitive skin or on the skin for professionals if you are planning on doing a peel for example and you want to do something non-aggressive before you do a peel this is really um, a good tool to kind of pre-exfoliate the skin before before a more advanced exfoliation. And for home use as well, you know, especially for sensitive skin, this is a great tool to exfoliate. Um, so why do I like this particular um, skin scrubber or um, an ultrasonic spatula? They have different names for it. Um, I like it because it gives me different options. So the options on this one are Ultra, okay? sound okay it gives you that interrupt interrupting uh vibration so it's um it kind of gives it uh in in um intervals but boost okay so it kind of boosts it's just a different type of vibration and i like it because sometimes i feel uh, like this is more effective on certain skin than others so it gives you an option of two different types of vibrations to use on your skin okay now the next option that 
I absolutely love that they did. They actually added galvanic to it. So it says clean on here. And what it does, it has continuing vibration with your negative galvanic, with your disincrustation. If professionals probably know what I'm talking about. Okay, that means that using it with uh, a proper product, it actually helps to soften the skin and prepare it for extractions. Now, uh, we'll talk about extractions in a minute. But the next option, nutrition. Okay, so what it does, it continues with a continuous vibration, but it actually adds a positive galvanic to it. And positive galvanic is used to help the skin to penetrate the product. It, it helps to calm down the skin, like let's say after extractions or if your skin is irritated for whatever reason. And it also um, uh, kind of constricts the, the uh, vessels, you know, so it all plays a role into a calming, soothing, penetrating, okay, so it absorbs, it helps to absorb in and calm the skin and hydrate the skin. So that's how many options this little device has and I absolutely love it. I love when it's um, two in one, three in one, five in one, you know, the more the merrier. Um, so I really enjoy this device. And another big reason why I enjoy this device is because of the uh, different options of products that I can use with it. So of course, um, the biggest question now is, okay, what do I use with this product to exfoliate my skin? Um, well, before, I speak about the product, I wanted to tell you um, one more thing. You know what, actually, let's, let's do that. When I, when I talk about how to use it, I'll tell you um, that little detail. So product, uh, this is what I've found. Um, one of the products that I really like to use is plain rose water, okay? So technically you can use any product that is of a liquid substance, okay? Um, that would be uh, a non-aggressive light astringent. You know, I like Thayer's. So Thayer's and astringent, the one that has um, rose or cucumber in it, you know, are totally fine. Any of their astringents would be fine. So I like to use it with an astringent, rose water, um, any toner, if you don't have anything like that, you can just use pure water, nothing but water. But what else I've discovered uh, when I talked about a little oomph to, you know, to the skin before a peel or just a little more than just water and the spatula, I've started using liquid enzyme solutions. And I found, um, discovered a really, really, um, nice uh, results from it. I found that the skin was so glowing afterwards that I really now use it as, you know, one of the steps in my facials and in my um, routine for my skin. So what I do is in addition to using um, astringent, rose water, I actually use enzymatic enzyme solutions uh, whether they're over the counter or by a prescribed um, skincare company uh, for home use or for professionals in the rooms, you know, you can use uh, enzymatic solutions that are liquids. Okay. I've tried to use other exfoliants like powders, you know, powders mixed with water, uh, you know, rotate them over the skin and then use the spatula. It also works, you know, but I feel like um, it's too heavy. So the best where I found it works with is liquids. Okay, so whether it's enzymes, whether it's rose water, lavender water, or whatever floral waters there are that you like to use on your skin, you can use this, especially for sensitive skin, or whether it's a permanent sensitivity or temporary sensitivity, you can use this tool to exfoliate your skin. One of the things that I always um, stress out, I guess, is that 
uh, rosacea, you know, skin that suffers from rosacea, whether it's controlled or not controlled, uh, exfoliation can be really, really a sensitive subject because of irritation from, you know, scrubbing your skin. And the spatula is a saver. I have to tell you that I deal with rosacea a few times a day. A lot of people have that condition or severe sensitivity. And this spatula is really, really a great tool to exfoliate your skin because you have to understand skin, especially when it ages, skin um, holds on to its own dead skin. It happens. So it's crucial to exfoliate um, on different levels, but we need to help the skin, especially as we age, uh, to slough off dead skin, okay? So your skin can penetrate, so it can breathe, it can penetrate good goodness into, into it. You know, you can use uh, products, you can use serums, you know, nothing penetrates through a dead layer of uh, protein. It's like concrete. So definitely you have to educate yourself on your own skin and what it feels like when your skin is um full of dead skin you know you feel it feels rough as soon as you start feeling rough it's time to exfoliate because everything all of your expensive non-expensive products are not going anywhere they're just sitting on top of your dead skin so exfoliation is something that i will be talking more about in um throughout different videos but this is my favorite tool. So this is a little bit of theory on it. It's easy to charge. It comes with a little base where you can actually charge it, charge the spatula, and then here you can charge the base. So it lasts, the charge lasts a long time. It takes probably, for me using it in a room, a good 20 clients before I have to recharge the spatula. So. Um, great, great tool. I will post my next video with how to use this tool. Okay, this was a little theory on it. Thank you guys. I'll see you soon.